and continue. You know, uh, you know what's great about life is that we have family and children and parents and different ones that, you know, need our attention. And so I got a, I got a phone call during that. Um, but anyway, so I had to, to stop that and I'm going to continue. <laughs> so I think it is the eye of the camel or eye of the needle. Sorry, I know just enough of whatever, you know, a lot of, a lot of little information. So anyway, but you could only get through that gate without anything on you, anything, no, nothing, no, everything had to be unloaded. No, no blank, you know, everything, nothing that you could carry through with you. You yourself had to go through that gate. So the Kundalini energy as such is that only you can go through that, right? And what happens is as you go through it, ha, there's like cleansing and a removal and an infusion of energy that comes in. Honestly, yeah, it's glorious. And, and you, I'm not the same person I was a month ago, six months ago. I'm, I'm not even the same person I was last week. And I'm thankful for that because we keep growing and we never, we never stop growing and we never stop, um, Expand, expanding, at least that's my heart's cry and my heart's prayer is to always be ever forward moving. And I know that that journey um, at times is, not at times, it is a fucking roller coaster. It is, that will scare you. It, high, up and then down, around the curve, and then going through the tunnel. And you don't know, you don't know where you're going, you know, but it's like spirit allows you is like it trains you up it knows all about you and knows what you can handle what you can't what you're ready to step into what you're not and that's okay that is okay and having that trust in god's source energy that god of all of creation made the sand and the stars decided you needed to be here too you needed to be here. Oh, God, breathe that in, man. That's how valuable we are. And then, on top of that, we were given the keys to the kingdom. That's like, that's not even a let's make a deal show. That's not like, what's mine, curtain one, two, three. It's like, whoa, well, you got all the keys to all of it. To all of it. All of it. Ah, mind has not seen nor ear has heard what God has prepared for those and his children. Man. These are not times to just get into a frantic, but you know what? It's going to happen. It's just, it's going to happen as things happen. So I guess I will say this to you. You're not alone. You're not alone. And my darkest, dense times, which could have been last night, four hours ago, 20 minutes ago, six years ago, my childhood. Those times when there was no one. I would get on my knees or I would lay on my belly or I lay on my back and I'd say, I give up. I can't do this shit anymore. I release control. I can't do it. And I'd be crying and sobbing and sometimes anger and kicking my feet and stomping and just like thrashing about because I'm just so angry and so frustrated about how my life at times would go. And it always seemed like it always would come down to, it would always come down to you and God's source energy in that moment. And knowing that by Christ, Christ energy, Christ consciousness, Christ himself comes and abides and he takes you into his arms and he calls you his lovely child and actually calls you brothers and sisters. Like God's source, we are all the children of God. So I'm sorry, 
if someone's religious and they're gonna get caught up on my technical stuff, but too fucking bad. Anyway, it's the heart and it's the intent that is really what matters and what counts. And a lot of us, we can, we can tell you the, all the things to do, but at the end of the day, it's between you and God's source energy. It's okay. It's okay to release. It's okay to just, it's okay. Sometimes, sometimes you just need to take a nap and sometimes you just need to go to bed and try again tomorrow. And if all you do is get up, drink water, make some coffee, whatever. And if that, and that's all you did, damn, you're rocking it, you're doing it, you're doing it. And then the next time, maybe Ollie will do some laundry today. Okay. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with the process. I'm done. Carla, winning star.